All right, here we go, guys. So let's just go over the stuff that we've learned before. Okay. So here we go. Uh, hold on real quick. Hold on. Sorry. Forgot my water. I'm thirsty. Hold on. Here we go. So you guys could see what I'm doing. So we're going to go ahead and review. Okay. We're going to review what's going to be on the quiz. And there's going to be a couple of graphings, which I wanted to go over some of the mistakes that some kids were making, but they didn't want to meet. So they never replied. So, but I'll get them. I'll get them. I got to call home. That's how I get them. So quiz review today is what? 413? 21? All right. So here we go. Let's do a couple of reviews. All right. So make sure you understand this. I'm not going to do the, the com complicated one. So here we go. So let's do, um, let's do uh, uh, 3x plus 2y. Oops, sorry. No, 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 no. Sorry. I'm not going to do the two words. 3x plus y equals negative uh, 4. Okay. So what do you do? You're going to convert this to y equals mx plus b. Okay. So y equals mx plus b. All right. So what do we do? Y equals mx plus b. Okay. So we got the 3x, correct? You want to isolate the y, so you need to get rid of the 3x from the circle, right? So you can't divide. You got to throw it. It has to go to the other side. So we got to subtract 3x to both sides. Subtract 3x to both sides, okay? Subtract 3x to both sides. And what does that give me? That gives me y equals, remember, you want mx, the one with, do not do not combine these, okay? So negative 3x minus 4. All right, I'm going to go ahead and give you some of them might be multiple choice. And I'm going to trick you. And I'm going to give you like minus, oh, go up a little bit, go up. Oh, all right. Yeah, that's fine. Just make it. I'm being recording. It. I'm recording it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Make sure you set those schedules after. They should know that you have class right now. Come on. Especially math. Come on. Not during math. Math is very important. All right. So again, y equals mx plus b. All right. We're not going to graph this. We'll graph this later. Okay, I just want to make sure you understand this. All right. And then, so that's A. All right. So far, so good. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and pause it real quick. What we're doing is we're converting the standard form into the Y equals MX plus B form, which is called the slope intercept form. So what do you do? You need to show the work. I don't want to just see answers. I won't give you full credit. I mean, I'll give you like a D. I mean, that's not cool. All right. So you need to show me what you're doing, just like what I'm doing now. All right. So now here, I want Y, correct? So I need to get rid of the negative 7X. How? Yes, by adding 7X to both sides. Now, there's going to be a couple. That I'm going to put y is equal to 17x. I'm going to trick you. All right. No, 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 no. It's not y equals 17x. You don't add them. Because the 10 does not have an x. Hello. All right. So then it's going to be mx plus b. Okay. Okay. There you go. y is equal to 7x plus 10. All right. Cool, cool, cool. All right, then the C. So far, so good. All right, go ahead and write that down, okay? So you're going to have a couple of problems like this, all right? So remember, what do we do? First things first, write Y equals MX plus B. All right, that's easy. All right, that's your first step. Now, where's your y? It's on the left side. Okay. 
So now, mister, but there's 6x minus 4. Is that 2x? No, they're separate. Separate, because one has an x, one doesn't. All right? So now you got to get rid of them. So how do I get rid of them? Well, first do the 6x. How do I get rid of the 6x? Minus 6x, the opposite. That makes it zero. So bam, it's gone. And then it's over here, and it goes to this side. See that? You could do that if you want to be fun about it. Yeah. The minus 6x, bam. So then it's got to go to the other side. What about the minus 4? How do you make that a zero? Well, you got to have some energy, right? So it has to be plus 4. And then it goes boom to the other side, and I have to put plus 4. Okay, because what I do on one side, I have to do to the other, right? So what am I left with? Back. All right, cool, Ethan. I called you like 10 times. I forgot you went to the restroom. I'm just kidding. So why, correct? So which one goes first? Am I going to do negative 2x? No. Mx plus b. You want the one with x. So that is minus 6x. Okay. Minus 6x and then plus 4. Plus 4. Okay. Minus 6x plus 4. You see that? So keep it separate. So far, so good. All right. So then we could do the next one, right? So there we go. So we draw a line. What do we put? Y equals mx plus b. Okay. Let's circle this side. Okay. Let's get rid of the y is good. We want the y. So let's get rid of the negative 7. How do we get rid of it? Plus 7. You don't turn it into, you add a 7. So then that's, that's a 0. So what I do on one side, I have to do to the other. See that? And then the next one is negative 8x. How do I get rid of that? Another negative 8x? No, it has to be the opposite. So plus 8x. And that goes to the side. What I do on one side, I have to do to the other. See that? So it looks complicated, but not really. So then my answer is y equals, which one goes first, the 7 or the 8x, or is it 15x? Yeah, it's 8x plus 7. Very good. It is not 15x. It is not 15x. So just to remind you guys. All right. It's y equals 8x plus 7. Y equals 8x plus 7. All right. So far, so good. You guys see that? All right, we're just reviewing, okay? How do you do a reverse? There's going to be a reverse, so be careful with this. So you do the same thing, y equals mx plus b, mister. But the y is over here and the mx plus b is over there, so then what do you do? You're going to reverse it, not reverse it, but just switch it. So y equals 6x plus 5. See that? So that's easy. Like, oh, oh, man, well, that's easy, right? So there's going to be a reverse, all right? So be careful with that. Again, the key to get doing well on this is putting it to y equals mx plus b. So y equals mx plus b, all right? Hey, mister, the y's on the other side. All right, flip them, flip them. Oh, okay, okay, flip everything, all right? So the y plus 4, okay, y plus 4 equals negative 9. Don't do the zero pairs because you're not, what you do on one side, you do the other. No, you're just flipping them, okay, which is easy, all right? So now you do solve for y. Now I want to solve for y, so I need to get rid of 4x. How do I get rid of 4x? Minus 4x both sides minus 4x see that minus 4x see that now you're solving for y so that's a zero a zero so y is equal to now which one goes first right the one with the mx so minus 4x minus 9 and that's your answer all right now if you want to go over this and just go over it and pause the video 
go ahead and that's a good study. Just talk to yourself. Say, okay, he's going to do this. Bam, bam. He's going to do this. Bam. All right? So that's, that's easy. So for the most part, you could use the video as a study guide. Like right now, I'm going to pause it. So pause it whenever you, okay, he's going to do that, that, that. And that's how you do it. All right? That's how you study. All right, last review, all right? Here we go. Remember, you're changing them to y equals mx plus b. So when we come back uh, next week, we're going to do, mister, what if it's 2y? We're going to do that, all right? So here we go. Zero equals, so look, y is on this side, right? Y equals mx plus b. So I got to switch them. So y minus 5x equals 0. All right? Got it so far? Okay, so now I could solve for y. Because y is on this side. So I got to get rid of what? The minus 5x. Minus. How do I get rid of it? Minus 5x. What am I going to write? Yeah, I'm going to write plus, plus a plus plus 5x both sides. So then my answer is y equals mx, right? Plus 0. But usually you don't put 0. You just leave it blank. All right? And that's your answer. Because that 0 would be your starting point, all right, when you graph. All right? So far, so good. And that's all for the review. That's the different types of problems I will be giving you for the test. And remember, I'm also going to give you a couple of graphing, all right, graphing.